Mm -mm 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 -mm. I knew this would happen, by the way. Yup. Last night, we decided to react to a random Asmund Gold video because the Johnny Somali situation was so funny and annoying to me. And I'm like, okay, the goal of this video is to not really target my audience, but because of how familiar I am with Asmund Gold's content and because of how, you know, uh, relatable I think his audience will be, I made this title Korean Asmund Gold. Can't believe Asmund Gold's opinion on Johnny Somali's 29 year prison sentence. Yup. I did that shit fully intending that this is not going to be a show, uh, sorry, a video that appeals really to my audience because you can see in the beginning, right? Of course, this is great, but look at that. Look, look at the spike here. Something fundamentally changed at this level. And look at this over here, right? The browse features. Look at that spike. It's happening. Yep. Yep. We're popping off. We're popping off. And the comments, they're pretty good too. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I really do be farming everything. Rent must be hitting hard. Comments like this is so fucking stupid. I'm just going to do this. Let's see, let's see. Right over here. Stumbled across you and got curious with the Korean Asmongold reacts to Asmongold in the title. Tuned in. Damn. Your thoughts are based as fuck. Subs. This is the exact audience that I was targeting. I knew for a fact that Baldi's audience would resonate with my content about this topic. Now, they're probably not going to enjoy anime reactions, though. And here's the thing. Going viral, and I lost to the clickbait as well. I feel called out. You're not alone, and it's funny that he called out to way bigger streaming demanding he needs more views. Like at the end where I say, guys, please help Asmund go. He can almost reach 4 mil subs, you know? Wait, clickbait? <laughs> I was going to act if his house is the same as Asmund. I'm, I'm a little cleaner than Asmund. But, like, basically, like, the goal was to hit these type of audience types. And it paid off. But here's the thing. Remember, I made a video... I made a video recently in the performance review where the title was called. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, there's too many fucking videos. Oh, this one. Why viral videos will, can kill your channel. Obviously, it's an exaggerated, you know, title. But essentially, what that title means is that virality means nothing because they could be dead subs. Exactly. If all you're doing is chasing wide appealing, you know, um, audiences and just doing whatever and they're just tourists, that's like an elevating elevator door of coming in, going out. If you're not able to consolidate the audience coming in, it's kind of pointless. It is obviously a nice feeling that like we got this boost. Like, like even this part was nice. I'm like, oh shit, it's hitting. But the fact that the slope just just spiked again is really cool. But again, like it's kind of pointless if the and the data for the audience obviously hasn't shown up, but you can clearly tell there's a 75 to 25 split. And this split was before the newest, you know, hit here. It's going to take some days in the next performance review. We'll go over the data and see exactly what's going on with this. But I think this is a great case study that we can do in the next performance review. And it's nice. It's, it's really nice. It's just, and also, everything is from recommendation session. No one gives a fuck, right? No one cares about the YouTube search engine, bro. It's all about YouTube recommendations. And there was also a funny comment here. There's also a funny comment here um, where a girl was compl complaining about why am I getting recommended so many goddamn, you know, reaction content over and over again. Right over here. Also, shout out to my Korean friends. Any reaction to you guys have seen? As in like, I've been watching your anime reaction as well, but like, I didn't know you were Korean. Yeah, I am. A lot of people don't think I am. What's happening to internet? All recommendations are reaction after someone's reactions, a never ending reaction. Fuck. Well, here's the thing, right? The recommendations are based off of what people want. You may not want it, but the fact that it's getting pushed to you means that people with similar interests desire that content. You engaging at the video and again commenting stuff like this, it only sends positive signals to boost the algorithm to send it to even more audiences that may have the same interest, right? The market never bends to the whims of an individual but rather caters towards the majority. That's why even if people like this hate reactions, because based on your watch history, you know, your interest on what kind of content you watch, many other accounts may actually enjoy the reaction content. And that's why people cry about, oh no, I hate reactions, I hate reactions. But at the end of the day, one person's comment versus look at this viewership, right? And this is just my viewership. Look at Asmongold's viewership. It makes a lot of sense why reaction content is so lazy so effortless, but it scales like fucking crazy. I don't even need to edit this content. It's a one take fucking video of me just yapping. Truly the best thing you can do if you have no editor and you want to just yap and you can talk. This is one of the best ways to do content on YouTube. But again, 
when you do viral content like this, what are you going to do with the audience coming in? Most of Baldi's audience probably are not anime reaction enjoyers, but having one video that goes viral like this, it's not going to hurt anybody.